Welcome to my KTM video playlist. Today we are going to discuss about example on belt drive and that is specially based on the power transmitted. So let's see first of all the description of the given problem and try to understand with the help of this figure. Find the power transmitted by a belt. Here you can see this is the belt running over a pulley 600 mm diameter at 200 rpm. The coefficient of friction between the belt and the pulley is 0.25. Angle of lip is 160 degree that is sometimes known as contact angle also and maximum tension in the belt is 2500 Newton. So first of all write down the given data with the symbolic notation. Here it is given to you belt running over a pulley of 600 mm diameter so it will be d then having rpm 200 so it will be n is equal to 200 rpm now here don't confuse that why i have not used d1 or d2 or similarly over here n1 or n2 because of these both parameter that will be concerned to any one pulley if you consider this pulley then it should be d1 n1 and if you consider this one, then it will be D2 N2. You know that D1 N1 is equal to D2 N2 is equal to Dn. And that's why I have taken over here. D is the diameter and N is the RPM of any one pulley. Next, the coefficient of friction between the belt and the pulley is 0.25. Next, angle of lip as 160 degree. Here, very important point the theta is in degree so it must be converted into radian and you know that that is simply multiplying by pi by 180 now simplify it so that you will get in radian next maximum tension in the belt is 2500 newton so it will be t1 here again keep in mind this is the maximum tension so it should be actually t max but you know that T max is equal to T1 plus Tc, where Tc is the centrifugal tension. But here, there is no any description about the centrifugal tension so that you can ignore centrifugal tension. Means it is nearly equal to zero. And that's why T max is equal to T1. That's why I have taken directly as maximum tension T1. Now, here the diameter and RPM is given to you. So, very simple, you can apply the formula for the velocity of the belt that is pi dn upon 60. So, keep in mind, if the diameter and RPM is given to you, then you should definitely apply this velocity equation. Now, here d and n is given to you. So, put it over here so that you will get the velocity of the belt. Again, here the diameter that is in meter that's why it will be meter per second. Now again you can see here theta is given to you. So very simple when theta is given to you then definitely you should apply the equation for the tension ratio and that is T1 upon T2 is equal to e raised to mu theta. So very simple again if the diameter and RPM is given to you then you should find the velocity if you have the theta then definitely you should apply this equation now put this value mu and theta in this equation so mu is 0.25 and theta is this one now simplify it so that you will get tension ratio is equal to 2.01 now again you have the t1 so put it over here t1 is equal to 2500 t2 as it is is equal to 2.01 now from this equation you can find T2 again T2 is the slack side tension that's why it is in Newton now you have the T1 and you have the T2 and our objective is to find the power transmitted so again you know that power P is equal to T1 minus T2 into V so now you have T1, T2 and velocity V. 
so you can put it over here so that you will get the power so t1 is equal to 2500 t2 is equal to 1244 and velocity 6.283 so simplify so you will get p is equal to 7890 watt now keep in mind again when you use this equation then t1 and t2 must be in newton and velocity must be in meter per second and at last you will get the answer p that must be in watt always and this is your answer find the power transmitted so make a box now you can write over here as 7.89 kilowatt because of you know that by dividing 1000 then you can convert watt into kilowatt if you have any question then write in the comment box i will be back thanks my dear friends for watching this video press the like button to appreciate